Hi guys, um, <clears throat> second video in this series. Um, I'm kind of to the point here where I'm just kind of finishing things up. I've got everything to mention. You can see it's, it's an absolute rat's nest of dimensions. It's kind of important on where you place your dimensions. And you can see I also enlarged the text size on these dimension things to make them easier to see for videos. And kind of regretting that now because it makes them hard to get out of the way. But um, I, just to the point I told you in the last video, you need to have this to say fully constrained or nothing left, right? And there's two dimensions left, and how do I know what can still move around? Well, there's a little tool down here. It's a light bulb. It says show all degrees of freedom. So I'm going to click on that real quick, and I'll notice, oh, there are the two things that I still have remaining that can slide around. And so that's what it wants me to lock into place to be fully constrained. So I'm just going to go up here, and I'm going to take the lock tool. Since it's just the center line, it doesn't matter. Uh, where it is I'm just gonna lock that point in place and lock this point in place and everything is set and my outline is uh, like it should be right so I'm gonna click finish sketch and now comes the magic so we're gonna come through then and we are going to rotate this thing we're gonna revolve it 360 degrees so I'm gonna click revolve this is how the feature works notice it wants a profile and it wants an axis well look at that that's pretty cool it kind of guessed where I was going to go with that, right? So if I need to choose profile, a lot of you guys, I noticed it's not doing that. So um, let's see, I, can, I, can I take that off? Okay. Most of the time when you click this, I guess, okay, I guess it's going to do it for me. Um, I don't know why it's doing it for me, but most of the time what happens is you click profile and you select that shape that you just drew. You select axis next and it, you choose the center line and when you click on the center line that's when it's going to rotate around but and then you click the checkbox and and everything should be good so should look like this whenever all is said and done something along those lines if yours doesn't look pretty similar to that then you've done it wrong okay so um, that's the second video on revolving I'll make one more video here in just a second on um, on how do we do that rectangular cutout